please, let's bring out the Dr. Jennifer Sai, who is currently based out of Manhattan, New York. And in addition to practicing, Dr. Jen manages, yes, yes. She manages a social media platform where she is constantly in eye care, optometry, fashion, and travel. And she is also a travel influencer, live in the dream, and works with companies in tourism. Thank you all for being here so much. All right, you guys want to hear from the influencers on how to connect with your own consumers. So, starting off, fashionable. So, I think for brands like Transition, it's great to have people come in and see that it's not the traditional brand lenses that you are used to seeing, that you can step inside and it becomes completely clear. So, when I have patients come in and they see my, I'm wearing the lenses, and they're surprised that they're uh, transition lenses, I actually say, hey, try this. Let me put this on you. And they really do enjoy um, the product. They are much more willing to try it when they see that. Especially when um, you're a doctor, you provide reassurance that you yourself would actually wear what you recommend. I mean, anything she would wear, I would try. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you Dr. say. Jen. So your audience is a mix of consumers who are interested in fashion and in travel, and also ECPs. So how do you balance your content so that both audiences are engaged? So I started my page because I wanted to show that you could be multidimensional as a doctor. You can enjoy fashion, you can enjoy hobbies like traveling, and you can also educate um, your patients and the general public about eye care. So not everyone's always going to follow a doctor page. Mm -hmm. If you can combine it in a way where you can show them that it can be fun and informational, it would be great. So you can have you know, a very entertaining photo, like a travel photo that I use or a fashion photo, but in the content, in the caption, you can combine it with eye care tips or educational information, or either, even empowering or inspirational um, information for students and other healthcare professionals. So basically, you're much more likely to be influential if your patients know that you have range, that you're human, that you have other interests, and that there's harmony between your lifestyle. So I believe that people really connect on human connection, and that more often than not is emotional, raw connection. And so some days as a doctor, if I have good or bad days, or I experience certain scenarios with patients, sometimes I might share it, and people can find that very relatable. Um, so it's really important to be relatable. Um, and just like they said, engage back. So I like to treat everyone as if they're my IRL, which is like in real life friends. So, <laughs> you know, in your stories, you can post polls like, hey, um, what do you guys think about this thing? Should I make this or that? Um, this morning, I couldn't decide what to wear for this panel talk, so I posted a poll. It's like, should I wear the red dress or the pink dress? That's great. So it's really great to get people What did they involved. say? They chose the pink? I didn't get to check it yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Be human. Show who you are and be authentic. Well, please, let's give a warm applause to you. <laughs> Thank all of you guys for being here, and now let's turn it back over to Patience.